Hey everyone, welcome back to Geek Strong. In today's video, we're going to go back in time a little bit. Let's go back to 1966. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Here we have the brand new McFarlane's Batmobile from 1966 in the package. Package looks pretty cool but simple. I'll give you a little spin here. It's kind of a basic basic uh, Batmobile but there's the back art. Pretty cool. There's a play set and some of the figures. And Batmobile. McFarlane. Give you a quick overview. Pretty basic um, mold here. The uh, It's kind of like cheap type of plastic. Um, but still very cool. Um, um, 30 bucks, eh, not, I guess, I, w I would say maybe 25 would be a little bit more reasonable, but, um, let's, uh, let's get this bad boy out of the package. So, all I did was I cut the tape, um, on the tabs here, so I could open the back up like that, and then you can lift that up and take it out without damaging the box. Just in case you want to put it back in here. Okay, here's the Batmobile out of package. Overall, it looks pretty good. The wheels move. Underneath is basic. Front of the Batmobile. Looks pretty neat. These, I'm not too... i got to try to straighten that out. That'll bug me. But they're a little rubbery here. These. And these are rubbery too. So let's turn it to this side. There you go. The rear. Pretty cool, but basic. Let's see if we can zoom in on the dashboard there. You got your bat phone in the front there. See if I can zoom in there. There we go. So no um no decals in it, just basic black and red and gray. Well silver I mean. Yeah, pretty cool. I like it. 30 bucks, uh, a little pricey, but still very cool. Let's uh, put some figures next to it and see how it looks. There's the uh, wall climbing dynamic duo right there. Look pretty cool next to this. These are, I think, this set is from, I think, the early 2000s. So I'm going to take these off the base and see how they look in the Batmobile. That looks pretty cool, though. What do you think? Let's see how the vintage Mego looks next to it. A little too big. How about the original Batman movie? Looks next to it. <laughs> that actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> wow, pretty cool. That's the uh, Michael Keaton. Let me go grab the Joker. There's a Joker next to him. Pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Now let's get these guys off the base and see how they look in the vehicle. Let's do it. Here they are next to the Batmobile. 
actually scales pretty decent. Let's stick them inside and see how they look. Here we go, inside the vehicle, they look really good. I wonder if these like scale exactly the same as the uh, McFarlane ones. So it does sit above a little high. I don't know if that's, I know people are saying that's how the new McFarlane one, the new McFarlane figures would be. But yeah, they look pretty cool. So let's see how this looks next to the Hall of Justice Mego playset. So here's a better look at the Hall of Justice. So this is the front of it. And you have um, Wonder Woman battling some dragon, Aquaman, Superman. The side, you have a Batman there. In the back, Supergirl. You have the Green Lantern, the Green Arrow, with some aliens there. Looks like from um, War of the Worlds. Some other aliens here. I think these were in the, the slider image. And then there's the uh, bridge that collapsed. Yeah, pretty cool. Yep, yeah, this is from the 70s. It's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda cool. So here's a little bonus. Let me uh, show you how this Amigo playset actually works. I didn't expect to add this in the video, but let's give it a shot. So this actually will teleport Batman into another world. Okay. There he is. Can you see him in there? Probably not. Let me see if I can get a light in there. There he is. And then you just, let me uh, set up a light over here. Give me a second. Again, this was kind of spontaneous. You can still see him, can't you? So now we can change worlds. So with this lever, there he is. What? Different one? Get a love technology in the seventies. So you can he can go in different planets or different places. Your imagination can run wild. Just by the flip of that lever. And we have a little dial here. So it gives you coordinates or time to all the villains in the Batman universe, Metropolis, Rio de Janeiro, Shanghai, Casablanca, Moscow, and Gotham. That's pretty cool. So these are like coordinates. So you would come over here Actually, you come over here, so it says B2, I guess. So you'd go and you would look T2, B, and there he is. Metropolis right there. That's pretty cool. And then you had, it came with this table with a map. It said the Hall of Justice. And then you could flip it over like so. And there's your road map. Let's see, does it even say road map? I think it does. 
roadmap systems and then you actually have a map of the solar system too galactic systems map so you can find them through the galaxy yeah pretty cool yeah so it's batman day let's see here we got batmobile and this is a 70s let's see if you can zoom in that check it out this remote control batmobile is from the 70s right there so you put batteries in it and it lights up inside and moves back and forth like so yeah pretty cool yeah I like this probably have to get the Joker and obviously I'll get the Batman and Robin carded figures I like the cards from the McFarland retro wave that they're coming out with but yeah, that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's video. So tune in next time on this same channel. And remember, we are all Geek Strong.